Hey there, welcome to the 40 second easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. We looked at the for in loop last time and I mentioned that you can take it one step further by dynamically creating JavaScript objects inside of an array and iterate through that array and parse your JSON with the for in loop. So let's practice and see what that looks like. Uh, so I think this is it's pretty cool. It could be useful for you in the future. So we'll, here is the syntax of for in loop, which I covered in the last tutorial. And in the JavaScript area, I have pretty much the end result of where we left off after the last tutorial, where I have an object called person with all of these uh, properties. And we outputted whatever we had onto the screen. So if I just run this, uh, it outputs the property and their value uh, separated by a colon based on what I have in my output.innerHTML. But that's not what we want. We want to create uh, objects uh, dynamically, so as I covered in the 40th tutorial, I mean the 39th tutorial, where I went over how to create new objects using the new keyword and using a an object constructor or a template. So we're going to convert our object person object here into a template or a constructor. So we'll start off with function, and in parentheses we're going to pass in a bunch of arguments. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of three of these properties because uh, just to keep it short and then we'll pass in name city state website language and job and remember uh, all the properties inside a dynamically created object needs the this keyword so it'll be this uh, one thing I like about uh, JS fiddle is that it allows you to whoops edit multiple areas at the same time so I just selected all those using control and I did paste control V. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do equal. I'm going to do the same thing here. Just highlight. I'm holding control and then there you go. Paste equals blah, blah, blah. Pretty easy, right? The next part I can't do manually. I can't do uh, as easily. So I'm just going to do city. I'm just going to type it in state website language missing an e here and job there we go don't need a comma after that if i update and run this code breaks because again we're not using it for them. i'm just going to get get rid of it for now i also have output uh the variable output uh, assigned with the value of our output element which is listed here so let's create an array i'm going to call it x just to keep it simple not curly braces, square brackets. And I'm gonna create a new person object here and send it some value. So I'll do Nasmus, same as before. So Boston, Massachusetts. Make sure I gotta spell it correctly. Since I live here, um, easyprogramming.net, JavaScript, and developer. So I created uh, one array element, uh, one um, item in the array called x. So if I do x uh, and the square brackets do zero, this is my first element here. And inside this element, I'm running this code, which creates a new person object and assigns these values inside uh, the person object using this constructor. So now let's do something a little simple. So we'll do four. So property in item zero, because when we only have one item there, we'll do output, we'll do output dot inner HTML plus equals to uh, the same thing as before. So P, probably should save that code. It's okay. Um, plus item. I don't know, I'm doing item, I'm doing person zero, uh, sorry, x zero. So x, so x zero, and inside it, it's gonna be a P, so it's kind of like a multi-dimensional array, uh, even though it's not, we're accessing an object inside of an array. And I'll just do a line break here. Uh, the lazy way of doing a line break instead of any other formatting. So if I do and run it, there we go. So it outputted uh, the first array item uh, value 
which I have here uh, using this constructor and I'm able to use the for in loop uh, inside what looks like a two dimensional array but it's actually uh, accessing the property of the JavaScript object inside this array. So x0 is the array. So as you can see that we can actually keep adding more here. So if I add a second person here, so if I do Bill, let's do Seattle, Washington, Microsoft.com, let's say he does .net, and he's a billionaire. If I run an update, nothing really happens. So what we can do is we can copy and paste, change this to one, change this to one, update and run, and there we go. We have his information as well. But we learned in the for each tutorial is that we can actually incorporate all of this into a for each loop. So we'll just do x dot for each, and then function. Uh, the first one's going to be the item, and the second argument, or the second parameter is the index number. open and close curly braces. Let's close this up. There we go. So we're iterating through each of these array using this uh, using this for each, for each loop. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and paste that into here. Indent. And instead of using x0, I'm just going to call it item because uh, we're passing, we're iterating through each of the x elements and we're calling it item. You can call it whatever you want. If you wanted to call it x, you can. But here we also don't need the x0. We'll just call it item. If I update and run, there you go. It doesn't change. Now I can do output dot inner HTML plus equals. I'm just going to add another line break just to be lazy. Um, there you go. So there's a space between them. It's pretty easy, right? So now I can keep entering more array objects, but keep my loop exactly the same. I don't have to touch this code anymore. Let's just do mark, say, Lulu. I think I saw that correctly. Hawaii, Facebook, PHP, and his title is also billionaire. So you update and run, and there you go. Now we have Mark, Bill, and Nasmus in different uh, in different sections where we're iterating through each of these uh, objects inside of this array using this for in loop inside of this for each loop using uh, which uses this person object constructor to create all of these arrays here. So if you can add as many um, array object objects as you want. And as long as this code stays the same, uh, it'll just keep outputting things uh, one by one. So I think this is a great way to parse through uh, multiple JavaScript objects. If you just put it in an array, use the for each loop, go through them and parse that object itself using the for in loop, uh, you're all set. Uh, as I mentioned here, it's, it's a great way to, uh, in the last tutorial that it's a great way to, for in is a great way to parse through JSON data and uh, output it into an even more readable format, such as if you want to convert it to XML for some reason, uh, even though there are XML parsers, or you want to display all that data into a table, uh, you can. Uh, I actually created a JSON to table uh, converter on easyprogramming.net in the playground. You can check that out and see what that actually looks like. I do something similar uh, in that case here. Uh, well, that's all I have for the for in loop uh, at this point. Uh, I hope that seeing how you can use it along with the for each loop to iterate through an array and parse JSON was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials on JavaScript, Excel, and C++. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.